Yes, this is Evangelist James Stell once again coming to you from Thine Kingdom Come Ministries. And I pray that the material and the advice and it all helped you out to the extent of the fullest. To the fullest extent, I pray. I mean, it took a lot to realize that I had a lot of lies living in me and truth had to battle those lies. But I want to tell you this, it was well worth the journey. And now it comes to this point right here now. It says, I cannot forget the source of why I made these videos and the motivation. And that's because of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know I said in a lot of the videos that your, your higher power, but this is my personal higher power. Uh, I, this is the one that, that I've been blessed to know personally. And you can get this fresh start. It's the fresh start and a new beginning. Uh, and his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He died on the cross for us. And there's no way that you have these videos possible if it had not been for him entering in my life. Now, accept him as your personal savior means this. It's like getting a diploma. A diploma is that, yes, your mother, your father, your cousin and uncle, they can, they can give you advice and push you to go to school and encourage you. But ultimately and personally, it was you that made the decision to go day to day. You could have ran away and rebelled, but you got to that point to where you wanted that diploma and degree. And when you get that degree, it's nobody else's name on it. No mother, no father, no uncle. Only name that's on that is your name because you personally went to school and made, got that achievement to get that diploma. And that's the, the same thing with Jesus Christ. Knowing him personally, can be mother, can be father, can be uncle, what you heard about them, how they encouraged you, how they sung in church. It's about knowing him personally so he, you can get his spiritual DNA inside of you to take over. And there's a way that you can do that. All you have to do is, according to Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10, it states that in order to get him into your heart and in your life, you must believe that Jesus Christ, you can just follow me in a prayer right now and just say, Lord, I believe that you hung, bled, and died on the cross for my sins as well as the sins of the world. And right now, Jesus, I'm asking you to come into my heart my Lord, as my Lord and my personal Savior. I believe, God, that you hung, that you bled, and you died upon the cross. And on the third day, you was risen. And right now, you're sitting at the right hand of the Father. So, God, I just thank you for coming in my heart. And that no demon in hell can wipe my name out of the Lamb's book of life, where it is written. Just say, I accept you, Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I accept your forgiveness your redemption your reconciliation and I just thank you for saving a sinner such as myself and I bless your name from this day forward that's all it takes and if you've done that right now I will see you in heaven. You are saved, sanctified by the blood of the Lamb, which is wonderful. Now, that don't mean you must stay free, but it gives you an opportunity to learn from your mistakes because Jesus is the best life and afterlife insurance that you will ever have benefit and liability to take you over into the next realm of destiny here on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you. I pray for you. I love you. And I pray God's best in your life. And if you got Jesus in your life as your best, you got it all. So if you've done this and made this decision, uh, hit me up on the Thine Kingdom Come uh, Ministries.org website and leave me a, a small synopsis or a small summary of how you felt that this change your life and i pray that god's best in your life thank you and god bless you amen and amen